And then we have the second screw here. Some of these screws may be a little tough to take out. This is to remove the optical drive from the unit. Um, it's extremely critical you remove the optical drive out of there. Um, and then you'll see there's a little metal tab right here. If you push on that tab, the optical drive should just slide right out. Nope, I got the screw still stuck inside there. Here's my flat blade side, and there we go. Yeah, the screw is out. We'll take that, put that inside the plastic bag with the other screws. Now, the again, little tab, push it in, optical drive pops out, and it just simply slides right out. We'll set that off to the side as well. Now that we have all the accessories taken off of the laptop, uh, next thing we want to do is we want to identify all the locations where there are screws on the laptop. Um, you want to start with the outside screws first on the casing. Like I said, these are pretty long screws on here. These are see by the length of them they're they're really long they're the only place the only place that these screws can go are inside the outside mounting locations and also where the keyboard icon is underneath the access panel and we'll set those in the bag for the bigger screws screws in one bag, keep them kind of together. And then there's, there's two on the side here. And then we have one more here. And we have one more on that top mounting right behind the behind this. These are the only long screws on the outside of the laptop that need to be taken out. And they have to be completely taken out of their slots so that the, the case can easily open. Now, no need to take off the feet on here um, because there's, there's nothing underneath the feet, um, which was good that HP did um, they used to have the feet would come off and if you opened the, if you took the feet off, it would void your warranty on the laptop. Well, we're voiding the warranty on it now. Actually didn't have a warranty to begin with. This system is about three years old. Um, next critical part you want to pay attention to, there is three screws. This one's kind of hidden in the corner here underneath where the where we took the CD-ROM drive out. These are the uh, two and a half by three screws. And they simply just come right off. And then you'll see there's screws underneath the access panel. These are the last screws we have to take out. Um, so we're going to start with the battery area. One. Two. Three, 
four, and then I already took the fifth one out underneath um, the first video as the demonstration. We'll set those off to the side. Next ones that come out are underneath the access panel. Um, there is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws that actually attach to the casing. So we want to remove those. And they're all labeled with the M2.5 by 3.0. And that's how you can identify the casing screws. There's no hidden screws in these. Um, there's no one that are hidden under any black panels or anything like that. So what you see is what is there. Just be very careful on where you go with them. Here's another one of those long screws. This is a two and a half by 12 millimeter screw. One of the long ones again. So there is in fact two underneath the access panel for the longer 12 millimeter screws. And then we have these ones here. These are actually screws that tie into the motherboard which you want to remove these now just in case um, because if you don't you might run into some trouble in the future you don't want to be flipping the laptop around when it's half assembled and then one more down here this is a mounting bracket this is the mounting bracket for the motherboard on the underside of it and the screw comes right out So there, we have a total of eight screws that are the three millimeter screws. Oh, I'm sorry, nine screws, missed one. Again, make sure that the screws are fully taken out. So a total of nine screws underneath this access panel plus the one 12 millimeter screw. All right, so now you'll see we have the bare underside of the computer. Now, I had this taken apart once before, which is why these stickers are removed here. I had to remove the motherboard out of the PC um, to try to fix it, and it recommended to remove the labeling, but uh, it really didn't make a difference. Okay, so now the underside of the computer is taken off. So we're going to flip the computer back around. Back over. I'm going to open up the LCD lid. Now, this is where your flat blade is going to come in handy. You want to turn the laptop to the side, and on the back part of the LCD, hinge. You'll stick the flat blade in between the hinge and twist. And it just pops right up. It's going to pop up with a little bit of force, but you'll see it pops right up. That's what we want. You're going to do it on both sides of the computer, on the back of the LCD hinge. Okay, so once you get both sides popped up, you'll now see that the top bezel is almost free. If you have all the screws taken apart, the bezel should come apart, and you'll see this little ribbon cable here. 